Well, today Fred and I thought we would do a little, have a little fun with the, the Pluto trigger, which we had done some water drop photography right. here. But there's some other yeah. things you can do with yeah, it. Yeah, this I mean, is a pretty flexible some, yeah. little device. It has motion sensors, it's got a laser sensor, it's got a little trap lightning. Um, even if your phone, you know, take a picture of somebody smiling. It's got a lot of different things. So one of the things we got back here, what we're going to do, and uh, these are plastic. I don't want to use real glass. And um, what we did was take and uh, screw them in to this board here. We've yeah, got we mounted them. Mounted them on so that they're not going to go anywhere. But you ask, why are they at an angle? What we're going to do is we're going to put the put camera at the same angle and then bring this up there and slam it into this board that we've got down in a little brace at the end, which will hopefully make a noise that will trigger the uh, camera and flash when it hears that bang. And that's the idea. The liquid that's going to be in these will splash out and hopefully we'll catch that and get that nice, interesting splash of liquid out of the glasses. To mount these up there, what I did is I uh, just used regular screws okay. and uh, marked where the uh, edge of the glass is, where I wanted the glass to be put. Then I used a uh, screwdriver, in this case a battery screwdriver, to screw that into the wood. Then measured the other side and uh, put that uh, screw in there tightened them down to hold the glasses in place. So when we slam this into the board at the end, um, the glasses won't go anywhere. It'll at least we hope, right? We, the, the idea is that they won't go anywhere. The liquid will. And in the picture, it'll look like the glasses are stationary. And somehow theory, water is flying out. The water flying out. So yeah. that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to go ahead and get that set up here. And we'll be right back. All right, well, let's see if I can get in here. We tried this a couple different times. We had some issues. Um, we didn't have the Pluto set at a proper level for sound. So it may take some a bit of experimentation. So we're going to do another one here. We finally got a successful, and I'm holding the phone a little closer and turned it way up. So even our talking will trigger it right now. So. When Fred's ready, I'm going to go ahead and set this on, make sure ready. nothing's gone to sleep here. Is this on? Go. Oh. A little late. Yeah, I would say so. Try again. Not so hard. Ooh. There we go, that got one. <laughs> <laughs> it's false triggers. Okay, sound is really, yeah. <laughs> We're getting them wiggling. All right, I'll be good. And of course, no. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, this is going to take a while. Uh, let's fill up the glasses again. I guess it goes without saying you don't want to do this in the house. All right, let's. Uh, Jim, you have water on the lens cover. What's that? On the lens. Oh yeah. Hmm. So another issue, splash field. So we're having to quickly. Fred's splashing everything. I'm just, hey, where else can you do uh, making okay. a mess for a living? All right. And I've got this set to, for the delay for the sound. You ready? No, you, you're going to have to wait longer because I've got a five second delay set up there, ah, Fred. Sorry about that. So if it goes off. Let's try it again. No. 
You must have done something. You made noise. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, there we go. It's a good, clean, fun on a rainy day when you don't mind getting wet. By the way, you cannot. I don't know if it's a rainy day if you do it in the house. Uh, you might want to do it in the garage or someplace where you don't mind making. Yeah, a good well, you, you can't do mess. this outside because of the uh, flashes. You have to have the flashes. Um, you know provide the light. You get too much ambient light. Right. Yeah. Well, doing it outside would be... It will work. I'm be using a flash tricky. trigger in here, and uh, I've got the Pluto triggering the camera, which then triggers the flash. Now, so, we are doing this technically outside, but we're in a heavily covered area. Yes. This is uh, in a porch. Where uh -huh. it's, a enclosed, and it's a very cloudy, overcast yeah, Enclosed porch, and then, of course, the weather is helping us because it's extremely overcast. Yeah, so you could do this at night, I guess. You could do it at night? Yeah. All right, well, we'll we're going to try and shut up something else. We're going to have some more fun with Pluto. Hi there. We've had all kinds of interesting things happen. Yeah, well, we tried and tried and tried uh, with a glass of cherry tomatoes, which would be like just cherries. They just didn't work. I was able to capture them finally after a lot of uh, trial and error. They just well, don't really put, you know, create let's, a splash let's talk, or let's two talk, around. Yeah, let's talk about the light situation. It finally yeah. darkened down enough because yeah. weather started they, moving in. With laser, it was too much ambient light, Yeah, basically. So now we're on a nice rainy day, which this is good for rainy days, snowy days, days when you don't Well, I don't know if outside. I'd be out here if it was snowing, that's for sure. <laughs> well, maybe not. <laughs> you might be dropping this in ice. <laughs> anyway, the other thing I did is uh, we were inconsistent with the distance. The height, yes. Because you have to have a delay put on in order to catch it at the right moment. So I put this in here as a guide not only to where the laser is pointing, but also For to the give height, us a, yeah. a height to drop it from and so we get some consistency, just like the water drops. The, the uh, water dropper is at a consistent height, and so we can set a millisecond delay. Right. So anyway, we've gone through all that, and what we're going to do now, we change to a big salad bowl, glass salad glass bowl, bowl, and, and an, an apple. apple. That makes a nice splash. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get that here. And yep. Do a couple and show you. All right. So we did it so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let us go through all the errors and uh, the consternation yeah. and Tearing the frustrations. Our hair out. Look at poor wow, Fred. <laughs> gosh, no, you don't want to do that. With I don't want to do that. All right. But uh, let's do it. All right, I think well, I everything's up. Let me just make sure that everything is going here. That's lots on. Is this right? Because when I drop it, I'm going to hit that. The flash is on. That flash is on. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm off center, though. You can move a, a little bit this way. A little right, bit this right way? Right there, yeah. Drop. Okay. And it didn't go off. Oh, you didn't have it set. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that would help so much more if you have it set. Make sure that you set the... Uh... Okay, got to push the button here. All right, go ahead. And it didn't go off. Oh, no. Now it went off. Now it went off when my hand went through it. And you hit the... Uh... I think you knocked our laser. Ah, you did. You hit the tripod and the laser was knocked off a little bit. I didn't hit this tripod though. It was off. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Is this something correct though, where it has this? 
Let me see. I don't think it's going to set it. Yep. Woo! Oh, shoot. So close. Okay. Let me put the delay at 2. 15, because it was just above the water. I think you're a little higher than I was. That's back Just on. Good, right there? Yep. Well, what the hell? I must have been just touching the light. I guess. Woo. You know what it is? I think it's getting brighter out. Yep, that's what's going on. Shoot. No, that's not it. There, that's what happened. Okay. Sensitivity. You have to dial this in, kind of experiment with that part of it. All right, go ahead. Nope. That's off again. When I hit this, when it hits the bowl, it knocks this guy a little off. There yeah, we go. that's a small little target there. Maybe hold it, let's stop, make sure. Okay. Wait a minute, don't, don't have it on, turn it off. I wanna make sure the laser, yep, there it is, okay. Let me show you what I did too, is I put a towel down there, removed the bowl and kept dropping it until I could determine when it was actually hitting the towel. That's how I set my originally milliseconds. So let's try again. Nope, maybe it's in the wrist. Look, at that's not going off at all again. Let's block this. I found if I block this up and dial it up so that the sensitivity is up, but that's down. Let's try that. No, you were too high. Number no. one, it would have. Been it's not tripping it. Above the. See. Of course it's not. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play around with this and when we figure out what's going on, we'll let you know. Yay! Oh, well. <laughs> we finally found a way to be consistent and that's the one thing I guess you have to worry about is can you have consistency with getting it to trip yep. the trigger? Yeah, we find that, uh, well, number one, you wanna make sure that that's aimed right at the sensor on the Pluto and uh, that the ambient light isn't one of the things I did. It was I hold my hand over or turn the laser off and on the um, app, which I'll show you here, you see where the ambient light uh, is uh, as far as whether it's affecting it. Right. Then so, it was a, the idea here as far as dropping the apple consistently to set the milliseconds. That right. The height. Is absolutely. And we were almost, our little trick for technique was rolling it off. Yeah. But ideally, I think we had something that we could basically roll it down and go yeah. in there if you had that something would be like better. that. But this was, you know, that close enough, and then we were able to consistently get some really nice splash shots. Yep. So, pretty cool. Yeah, so that's uh, with the laser trigger. Yeah. And uh, it is work, and there's yep. a lot of things you have to worry about, but that's yeah. why we decided to jump on it to see if we could help take some of the worry out of your photography. So, it takes some trial and error. A trial and error as far as setting and getting the laser sensitive yeah. enough and also you're going to have to have something large enough as we said the little cherry tomato it worked i got one or two shots but there was really no splash. it was well not very nice size it, is not so much it is irregularity size in the shape doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> i don't know in about this that. case size does matter we were the using an apple, apple but we could have used something like a strawberry which has more of an irregular shape unfortunately something that's more aerodynamic at least that's my thinking will not cause as much disturbance or splash in the water. We also found that the bowl, like in this case, the bowl should be filled and we put a little flu coloring in there just to get a little color to the water. And I used blue because we got a red apple. So anyway, that's where we stand right now. We're tired. We've been at this all afternoon, <laughs> basically. And but you know, it's a good way rain, to burn away a day that you would say, when am I going to do? There's nothing for me to do. The weather's bad. Or yeah, I'm, well, if the weather or whatever the, the problem is. Uh, come, been included by the clouds, we would have probably been at this a lot longer. Yeah, so trying to get it just I, right. The laser, you can't use that laser in daylight. That's just, no. say that without any hesitation whatsoever. 
All right, well, that's all I got for right now. There We're going to have some more fun um, with the Pluto and coming podcasts and coming YouTube videos. So be sure to go out there and subscribe to our YouTube channel, please. You don't want to miss any of this good stuff. <laughs>